What is up, ladies and gents? It's Mike from the Square Gamers. Now, with the rise of popularity of Miyazaki and from software's games, Dark Souls and Bloodborne, came Souls clones, such as Lords of the Fallen, and most recently, Let It Die. Now, Team Ninja and Kyo Techno are releasing Neo on the 9th of February of this year, and I happen to have the pleasure of playing the Last Chance demo this past weekend. Now, as a longtime fan and player of the Souls games, let's see what I think of Team Ninja's take on this genre. In Noah, you play as a samurai battling his way through feudal Japan that just so happens to be filled with demons, but arming yourself with katanas, sigils, bows, and guns, just to name a few. Now, each weapon type has its own unique feel. They go as far as giving you multiple stances for each weapon type. Now, you have a high stance for pure power and breaking your enemy's guard, but you sacrifice movement. Mid stance seems to be an all-arounder, fast and fluent movement. Low stance is the quickest of them all, with the longest combos, but you do run out of stamina rather quickly. Now, these stances seem to differ between weapon types, so I can't wait to be able to test them all out. Combat mechanics are rather similar to Bloodborne. Quick sidestepping and rolling to counterattack your enemies. But it seems as you learn enemies' patterns and movesets, it becomes a lot easier to attack first and then just kill them before they have a chance. Game difficulty at first is extremely punishing. But with practice, the game could be more manageable. As for bosses, for what I've experienced, be ready to die. Team Ninja decided to go with the linear route of game progression. At first, it was rather disappointing. But as I played through the two missions available in the trial, it grew on me. There's a central hub called the Starting Point where you can level up, blacksmith, sell, buy, and create weapons, and even change the look of your current weapons. Now, in my opinion, this trial of Noah is a great showing. Souls like combat with minor tweaks, timing changes, and added customization, loot drops from enemies you defeat, armor to make your character look badass with weapons and skills to match. All this could mean a punishing but rewarding game that will be fun for months to come. And I'll be looking forward to playing this on February 9th. So make sure you guys keep it locked to the Square Gamers for all your video game needs. Peace.